The gap to the playoffs is down to one point with two games to go. Can we do it? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome to episode 34 of Rebuilding Derby. My name is Jamie and coming up on today's episode I've got two games for you in the EFL Championship. It's the final two games of the, the regular season. We're away at Luton Town in the first game and then at home to Bristol City on the final day of the season. Since you were last with me we've been in fantastic form. We've played five matches, won four and drawn one and that has left us with the league table as you saw just a moment ago looking like this we are on 71 points from 44 games one adrift of Middlesbrough with Preston ahead of us on goal difference we have the two games to go so it's all to play for and I'll see you very shortly for match number one okay so this is the team for the uh, the Luton Town away game. It's uh, Lumley in goal, a back four of uh, Wilson, Asbrand, Jones, Nelson and Wolfenden. Bird at the base of midfield, McGuane and Slater ahead of him. Murphy on the left, Longman on the right and John Jules up front. So uh, let's uh, submit the team and uh, get into the, uh, the team talk. Okay, so we're going to point the finger and go with exactly what the... Uh, assistant managers recommended we're doing well we're on a good run let's keep it going and let's get into the match so we'll uh, just watch the first few minutes before we uh, make any interventions um, Luton with the uh, the ball to start with they've gone long from the goalkeeper but they highlight ends and it's uh, immediately another highlight with uh, Derby in possession it's Jones to McGuane, McGuane goes for the cross, it's headed out to Wolfenden, Wolfenden inside to Slater, Slater back to Wolfenden, he's lost the ball but he's managed to get it back to Slater and it's cleared by Luton but it is an offside and that highlight ends so we will demand more, we need to win both games to have any chance so we'll demand more at this stage it's Wolfenden with a throw in on the right Slater to Bird, Bird back to Slater Slater into Jones, Jones and it's saved by the uh, Luton goalkeeper out for a corner and it's an outswinging corner from Murphy Headed clear, Wilson Asbram will pick up on the edge of the box. Gives it to Jones, Bird. It's headed away, but Wolfenden's picked it up on the edge of the box. Finds Bird, McGuane finds Wolfenden. Bird finds Wolfenden again. It's back with Nelson. McGuane to Slater to Wolfenden. Needs some help. Gets it from Slater. Slater's forced backwards to Nelson. Bird goes to Nelson again the highlight ends. So we'll hit them with another demand more. 20 minutes gone. We've had the better of the game but uh, still no breakthrough. And this time it's Luton on the attack with a dozy. Uh, Bree goes inside to Mpanzu. Taylor holds up the ball. Gives it to O'Hare. A dozy is brought down by Wolfenden is a penalty for Luton which is not what we wanted to see so we're relying on uh, heroics from the goalkeeper he goes the right way but can't reach the penalty Sergio Gomez gives Luton the lead 23 minutes gone don't need to see the replay so we'll demand more try and get back into the game but it's another Luton highlight they have the throw in, it's O'Hare to Mpanzu to Taylor, goes wide, Edozi is causing all sorts of problems down that left hand side for Luton, gets his crossover all the way over to the right hand side and Gomez, back to Herver, 
it's off the crossbar. Gomez, it's cleared by Wolfenden, making up somewhat for his penalty. But we need two goals if we're to stay in the uh, playoff run. No highlights, uh, which isn't what we need. We need to get back into this game. And it's another Luton highlight, so we'll demand more. Nelson heads clear. Longman completes the job. John Jules heads on, but to nobody in particular. It's back to the Luton keeper, but uh, Derby can come again. Down the right this time for Longman. Back into Slater and his shot is deflected behind for a corner. Four minutes to go until half time. And it's the eight swinging corner from Murphy. Headed away, Jones will pick it up on the edge, edge of the area. He will play it back in but uh, he's off, Murphy's offside. And it looks like we're going to go in 1-0 down. Needing two goals to keep the season alive in the second half so we're going to thrash the arms what was that and we'll be looking to make at least one change I think we'll bring on uh, Connor Chaplin and we will also bring on Mate for Longman So we'll make two changes, send the lads out, hit them with a demand more, see if we can get back into the game quickly. Remember if we don't win this game, promotion playoffs are impossible. And Luton have the ball but we've managed to get it back. Nelson and the highlight ends. Luton come again, but we've managed to get it back. Mate, looking for help. Forced back to Nelson. Bird, McGuane. Back to Jones. Nelson again. Slater gets it through to Mate. He's going to need some help. Terrible pass, but Wolfenden picks it up. Bird into McGuane. Slater goes back to McGuane. Murphy chips it through for Mate. Mate blazes it over the bar. A place shot into the other corner, and he surely would have scored, but no. Uh, Wilson Esbrand's having a nightmare at left back, so we'll bring on Perrington for a final change. I know it's early, but if, if we don't win the game, it doesn't make any difference, so we may as well go for it. We're going to demand more. And see if we can get back into the game. We're a long way behind in terms of, uh, of XG at the moment. And it is looking at like a forlorn hope at this stage. Hit them with a demand more. They look shattered to be fair. So it is going to be a miracle if we manage to get anything out of this game. We gambled early, it hasn't paid off, and it does look like that one mistake at the back might have cost us a chance. Although Nelson passes to Jones, left to Purrington, Purrington goes down the line for Murphy. Murphy cuts inside, back with Perrington, Jones, Bird, Chaplin over the top. He's not going to find a Derby shirt with that one. And it's the forward ball is cut out. We're on the attack again. Chaplin to Mate. Back to Nelson. Nelson goes right and it's Mate to Slater. Slater with the through ball. Murphy has a chance but it's blocked. And the highlight ends. It 
is Luton with the ball and it's blocked but won't go to a derby shirt six minutes to go and it looks like our season is coming to a premature end although Mate, McGuain stab clear Gomez goes to Emiliano for Luton Gomez can't get the ball off him but we have and the highlight ends and it is looking very very unlikely we're going to get anything Although, Mate, no, he's not going to get on the end of this one. Nadozi, Bray, surely Luton are just going to see this out in relative comfort. Emiliano to Mpanzu, and Panzu goes backwards. That does end the, uh, the match. And that is a disappointing start to the episode. So we'll say we're disappointed. And I will see you for the second match of the episode very very shortly time now for the second match of today's episode the final league game of the season we're at home to Bristol City and whilst the uh, defeat in our uh, previous match has made uh, reaching the playoffs extremely unlikely it is still technically possible here's what needs to happen if we're to make it we need Stoke to lose or draw against Sunderland we need Preston to lose versus Nottingham Forest. We need Hull to lose against Luton. And we need a 16 goal swing in the, between ourselves and Hull and an 11 goal swing between ourselves and Preston. As I say, most unlikely, but still technically possible. So let's uh, go and uh, select the, uh, the team that's going to uh, go and do it. This is the team that's going to uh, to go out there and uh, try and pull off a miracle against Bristol City. It is Joe Lumley in goal, the back four of Curtis Nelson, Kelland Watts, Alfie Jones and Josh wilson Asbrand, Max Bird at the base of midfield, Marcus McGuane, Jason Knight ahead of him, Ryan Longman on the right wing, Tyrese John Jules on the left, Connor Chaplin up front. Let's submit the team and give our team talk. Okay, we are going to pump the fists and tell them we are favourites and we should be winning this comfortably. I think that's exactly what we need to do. And uh, let's kick the match off and go out there and try and pull off the miracle. We start, it's Max Bird wide to Longman, Longman back to Nelson. Longman gets it back from Nelson and is surely fouled. He is, but the highlight ends there. So we'll demand more. We need goals. As it stands, Stoker not winning. Preston and Hull. Preston. Look like they are not winning either. Trying to work out what's going on. Here we go. Josh Wilson has run down the left. John Jules tonight. All the way over to Longman. Longman gets help from Nelson. Into to Longman. And it's a great save from the uh, Bristol City keeper. But it is out for a corner. Let's hit demand more. It's headed clear. Redmond picks it up. Josh Wilson as brand has given a free free kick away, which we could have done without. Has eased all the pressure. And 
Chaplin is not playing well enough up front. So he's going to be hooked at half time. Bird for Knight. Knight to the back stick. Headed away from Longman. McGuane has a chance to cross. John Jules from almost under the crossbar manages to clear it by a bigger distance than he was away from goal somehow. And it looks like we're going to get the half time at 0 0, which is a long way from ideal in this situation. Chaplin is going to be the only sub at half time. It's Viner with the uh, free kick. Bristol City are in and they've taken the lead and that, I'm afraid, is that. That is the final nail in the coffin. Playoffs are not happening this time. So Chaplin for uh, Bradshaw is the obvious change at half time. We have to go for it but we're going to thrash the arms. What was that? Chaplin for Bradshaw. And let's go again. Immediately demand more. We need a win. Nothing else will do. So let's go for it. We're not going to die wondering. We are going to go for it. We're currently down in 11th, so it's not looking very likely, is it? Knight with the cross. Oh, it's wide. He's headed wide. That was a good opportunity to get back on level terms. Knight into John Jules. John Jules to Wilson Esbrand. Need to get it forward. Knight, Jones. Wilson Esbrand into Knight, back to Wilson Esbrand, back to Jones, Bird to Knight, Knight goes for the uh, Hollywood ball over the top, Longman somehow wins it, gets it across, John Jules gets it back into the area, Longman, shot charged down, Nelson picks it up, Nelson surely is fouled there, he is. And we do get to see the free kick. Knight chips it in. But it's volleyed clear. It's back with Nelson, McGuane, Bird, Jones, Wilson Esbrand, Bradshaw to John Jules, John Jules to Wilson Esbrand, Knight, Bradshaw, Bird. It's through to John Jules. It's in the back of the net. Is it going to count? It is. It's 1-1. We still need more goals to have any chance, so we have to keep going. I'm not going attacking yet, but we will. Uh, Wilson Esbrand's having a terrible game at left back. So we'll bring on Purrington. Um, and I think... Half an hour to go, it might be time to go attacking, let's do it. But it's Bristol City with the free kick. Headed clear, but we can't pick it up. So they still have the ball. Tipple gets it back. Gives it to Carter. Come on, get Carter, Redmond. Chip the keeper for a second time, but he's offside this time, so it won't count. We will demand more the moment we get the chance to do so. But we've got a corner through Callan Watts. Curtis Nelson heads it in. We are ahead. It's a good time for Nelson to get his first ever Derby goal. does put us back in with a chance we're on 74 points Preston are drawing we need them to go behind Nelson 
Knight to John Jules, Bradshaw to Longman, Longman puts it in the back of the net and it does count so that's another goal towards the uh, the goal difference with 3-1 ahead now so we'll keep attacking keep the same lineup we won't change anything although McGuane looks like he's on his last legs so I might have to do that one and it will be a Jacob Davenport I think we'll do that now with 15 minutes left Longman Bursts clear, gets it back, gives it to McGuane who scores, and it's 4 1. So we've pretty much done everything we realistically could have done in this game, but we're going to finish ninth by the looks of it. And eight minutes left, it's a corner to Bristol City. They've got one back. And it's a Curtis Nelson own goal. He's now scored in both nets. Not ideal when we are chasing goal difference. So we'll demand more and go again. Knight to John Jules. John Jules to Purrington. Purrington down the left for John Jules. Wide to Purrington again, finds Knight, back to Bird, Bird chips it to Purrington, to Knight, it's driven across, Longman's hit the crossbar, seven minutes remain, we lead 4-2, we're coming again through Purrington, feeds Knight down the left, it's through to Bradshaw, Bradshaw's managed to squeeze it under the goalkeeper, it's 5-2. And ordinarily we'd be saying what a wonderful result that was. But as we know, it's uh, it's not enough. It's into the arms of the Bristol City goalkeeper O'Leary with five minutes left. We're on the attack again. Davenport to Nelson. Nelson chips it through. I don't think Longman's going to get there. He doesn't. But it is back with Nelson. He heads it to Watts. Bird, back to Watts, Watts gives it to Davenport, Bradshaw to Bird, Bradshaw's ball is wayward but Knight finds it, gives it him back, gets it on target and it's saved by the Bristol City keeper. Four minutes remain, Knight with the corner, headed away, Longman should pick this up and he'll have time to turn and, and run, he does. It's out for a throw in to Derby, but we don't get to see it. Only two minutes left now. And we're an agonising two points away from the playoffs. It's uh, out of. No, it's not. Viner's kept it in. I thought it was going out of play. Carter to Tipple. Carter, Tipple to Viner. Ennis to Maxwell. It's a great save by the Derby goalkeeper. Into four added minutes at the end of the match. It's a vicious corner from uh, Bristol City, but it's headed out for a goal kick. And it looks like that is going to be all there is uh, in the match, although there's one final highlight. So Leary, the uh, Bristol City keeper. But uh, Derby have the final attack. Longman won't get there. And Bristol City come again one last time. Bamba is in the clear. But uh, Lumley saves, although the uh, flag's up for offside anyway. And it looks like this is going to be it. The match ends with us in possession. It's John Jules plays a ball backwards that is the end of the game we win 5-2 but uh, and it was a good game we've played well so we'll outstretch the arms tell them it was good but we will just uh, confirm the uh, the final league standings for you just to show that we did miss out on the uh, 
the playoffs. I'll do that for you very, very shortly as soon as the uh, the game is saved and we're able to uh, to bring up the uh, the league table. It is just taking a moment longer than I expected, and we'll just go straight into that league table. You can see the basic league table there, but we'll go to the full the full version stages and let's get the league table up there we go so we end up ninth 23 wins five draws 18 defeats and we're just two points adrift of the playoffs so that defeat in the next to last game was extremely costly the 1-0 reverse at Luton Town and that is the end of the season. I won't uh, show you the playoffs as we're not involved in them. So uh, the next episode will be the summer transfer special where we will uh, look to put together a, a team that's good enough to bridge the uh, the final gap to the, uh, the playoff positions. And uh, hopefully next season we'll complete the challenge by, uh, by making those playoffs. So uh, that will take place on tomorrow's episode. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to my channel for regular Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.